Hello and welcome to our review for Adjustment Protocols, the 12th episode in Season 6 of The 100. I thought that was a really cool episode. It set up the season finale really well and did some interesting things on the side, like the whole discussion of faith versus truth. I know that in previous seasons they had the whole faith of Nightbloods and and the commander and, and that so there may be certain aspects that I'm overlooking but I, I did like that they were calling back to that type of stuff there may be one or two things that I actually missed in this episode because we were watching it live which meant um, if we were talking <laughs> we were talking over each other uh, or talking over the show um, which is it just happens I guess every once in a while we're, we're in Vegas right now so we're having fun celebrating I'm actually really glad that we were able to do a little review here um, mm -hmm. while we're on vacation pretty special um, but yeah wh what type of stuff did you enjoy from the episode like it had some cool fighting stuff towards the end with the the red sun toxin yeah I mean I'm not that into fighting scenes but I did think it was interesting um, I didn't really realize that Gabriel was using like a very minimal amount of it. I guess I just forgot from last week because mm -hmm. it's been a, like a long week. <laughs> yeah, um, totally. <laughs> but I thought that was interesting. Um, I mean, the faith thing, going back to that, like faith versus truth, there's so much faith, like symbolism and stuff that's been in every season so far. Like mm -hmm. even the way they say goodbye to people who are dying mm -hmm. is a symbol of faith. It's not true. Like, what do they say? It's like, may we meet again? Yeah. And then the thing that the grounders say is like... Your fight is over. Yeah. Those those are faith-based, in my opinion. Yeah. So there's like, it's... And there are so many biblical references in this show. It's like insane. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of faith um, going on. But I do think it's interesting that they're, bring, they're kind of bringing it to a head right now where it's like, which one is going to you know yeah become like the actual ruling of you know everything i also think it's interesting that octavia is, is getting more into the faith thing mm -hmm. um it makes me wonder if she'll be like more affected by the toxin like obviously we don't know right now because they had the antidote but i do think it'd be interesting to see like if they do anything with that yeah. Because she told, like, that was the first thing I noticed when I came into the episode, because I came in a little bit late, but, like, what she said something to Bellamy that was like, just have faith. Yeah. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't remember what she was talking about, but it was either, I think, mm -hmm. Echo or Clark. He had to have, he was skeptical of, I think, how Echo was handling the situation. He believed in Clark, I believe, right from the very beginning, and then when, when Clark was successful and, and brought down the the shield he said like i told you so yeah which i feel like was kind of a reference to him just saying or her telling him yeah. to have faith i thought it was a fun little reference a little callback to earlier in the episode yeah. and um yeah I, I know what i was thinking of when octavia was out there i was thinking that um gabriel really reminds me of lincoln and the whole like Right, right in that, I think around that time in the episode, he said something like, I can't sacrifice the few for the many. And that, yeah. that seems like, you know, Lincoln signing with the 100, there were, weren't that many of them. There were a lot more people on the ground, but he sided with the, the few because he saw that as the, his moral obligation to the world. And um, that's why I, I really do think that there will be a, a possible romance between... Um, Gabriel and Octavia in future seasons. I don't think they're gonna they're gonna kill him off. Yeah, I mean, if she goes down this faith road, who knows, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm I'm not really sure if they're gonna keep it up as like two opposing forces. Because in my mind, like just because they have a faith doesn't mean it has to all be lies. You know, like I feel like there is room for them to find like a balancing point. But at this point. It's, it really is, it's, especially in Sanctum, it's faith versus truth. And I think maybe the grounder's faith could be closer to whatever they consider to be truthful, right? At mm -hmm. least it's an honest relationship where they don't pretend they're, they are um, becoming one when it's only really one who gets to live. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
I mean, I think the way that the grounders are doing the chip is a little bit different mm -hmm. because there is an aspect of like retaining parts of the people. Yeah. But yes. It's definitely it's, it's just better like for the, the opposite. The, yeah. Yeah. For the people who came before. Yeah. What else? Also, by Abby. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I'm. I I'm not entirely convinced that she's in. She's dead because she had the neural mesh, and Clark said I think that both Raven and Abby got EMP'd, so they don't have Allie in their heads anymore, like mm -hmm. Clark did to protect her. But something about that whole like scene at the end of this episode where it was Clark who's pretending to be Josephine on one side yeah. and Russell in, in, the middle. in the middle and then Simone pretending to be or not even pretending to be Abby, Abby but potentially in Abby. pretending to be Simone but perhaps it's just Simone I think it, point. it'd be a good twist to it I don't it know would. but I feel like they're going to kill off that actress I feel like that's they gave her a really good episode this episode the lines mm -hmm. with her and Raven I was yeah. like this is one of the few scenes I actually liked with Abby that that felt really powerful I was like Raven needs that she needs that family and Abby did provide that for her yeah it was nice to have that before they quote unquote killed Abby well, well I'm skeptical because they they killed Clark earlier in this season and I, I'm not sure Josephine's entirely dead yet although like the fact that she didn't pop up in this episode. I think she's yeah. probably gone. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, Abby, T TBD. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you noticed her nails looked funny and her eyelashes looked funny earlier she in the episode. She just had, like, they, she had nail polish on. Are we are we serious right now? Like they're living. How do they even produce nail polish? It doesn't make sense. Well, they have motorcycles in Sanctum, maybe. I don't know. The the That's whole getup that she had but on at the end. Nail polish is all me... anyway. Yeah. Also, her fake eyelash was like funny. falling off when she was dying, or she had that. So. Yeah. Anyway, you know, it just maybe they were like rushing a little bit at the end of the season to uh, and ignored some of those in consistency slash um, timeline issues but yeah continuity continuity I, yeah it's, it's like, but it's like not a huge deal but it was also like really obvious because they kept showing her hand like <laughs> injecting herself with like the night blood and like dealing with Maddie and stuff like that it's just like okay well how many times can we show her manicured hand and this mm -hmm. like they must maybe they were like we paid like a hundred dollars for her manicure we're gonna use it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I, if you hadn't said anything I wouldn't have noticed. I, I, I know. And most people like me aren't gonna notice. I, I, I find that really interesting because I'm comment like, I'm down wondering. below if you noticed. <laughs> yeah, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Please do, and don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe. Blah, blah, exactly. Blah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it was, it was fun. It was definitely really, really fun. Yeah, I enjoyed that episode a lot. I thought Murphy was pretty pretty cool in this episode. I liked his face tattoo. I like I like how Gabriel called them out and was like, you know they're brother and sister, right? And then they were like <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I guess people now all like their cover was blown immediately. I think the beginning of the episode well, they were gonna pretend to be somebody else and now they're like, well, we're gonna stay, we're gonna help. Yeah. That was that was cool to see Murphy making the not survivor choice because that's not very consistent with his character he's made a lot of like survivor Is choices he, but the, while moving towards this the thing about that though i don't know if i feel like that was pre-arranged right like it was not decided on like as they were leaving right i guess it's possible because the like russell didn't even say like nope you're coming with us night bloods like you know what I mean? Yeah, actually, you're right. Because I could have missed they, something. They there. literally just like walked away and were like, "Yeah, we're not coming." And I, I got kind of like tripped up there because I was like, "Why wouldn't he want to like retain that blood slash like bone marrow slash uh, chip in the head?" Or but I guess it's not his. his it's not his people, there. so yeah. like whatever. And when they go up to space, it's like. Yeah. Not his people either. There's but, Indra. There's a couple people, but I think it's mostly prisoners, like the the people that were on the spaceship. Yeah. Um, yeah. And some grounders. Whoever was left at the end of last season. There was that one lady who was super loyal to Maddie um, in the last season. It was kind of like a grounder faithful, a loyalist. Uh -huh. And she hasn't came back yet. 
And I, I really, really thought she would because they gave her a name. I don't remember the name because she was only in a couple episodes. I think it was like oh, yeah, I Belle remember. or something weird. Yeah. But um, maybe they're saving her for next season. I am going to guess that they bring her back. Yeah, I don't think they're going to bring... I, I guess they could bring someone back in the next <laughs> episode, but that would be a little bit like convoluted. Do you think mm-hmm. it's going to be a long finale or just like an hour? It could be an hour and a half. That'd be kind of interesting. I, I would not be opposed to that. <laughs> they do a lot of cool stuff with their season finales. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it a lot. Yeah. I was thinking something, but I just forgot it. <laughs> did, did we see all six of the primes that got resurrected? I feel like we only saw a handful of them. No, well, okay. They were saying resurrected, but two of them were Amari and Murphy. Mm-hmm. And then Abby, which was Simone. And then Miranda, Miranda, and two other randos who I'm not sure we even met. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we could have easily missed them because we can't rewind or pause. Um, not seeing anything right away. I know there's something I wanted to say, and I'm just I'm tired and I'm forgetting it. Uh oh. But. Oh, I did like the whole thing with um, Priya and the Delilah's parents. The whole scene where she was in the yeah. in the bar and uh, she's like, "Oh no, I hate this pie that Delilah likes," and the parents were just like, <laughs> "It was total foreshadowing too." Yeah, right. Of, it worked. Of how like it was all a lie, blah thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that was kind of interesting. I liked that that mm-hmm. scene. It was also kind of sad that. Priya got her kid back in the little chip and then immediately got killed. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like, uh, I mean, I don't know what she was expecting to happen. <laughs> yeah. It's like, but anyway. She wasn't in much of a position to negotiate, I think, and, and Bellamy no, did the, also, the best like, for her that he, he could. Although, yeah, he just left her to the crowd. Which well, the also, Priya's just an idiot because, like, no offense, but she was, like, so focused on getting her kid back What's going to happen after she gets her kid back? She's mm-hmm. told everyone that it's all a lie. Mm-hmm. Why on earth would Russell be like, yeah, let's make your kid a prime again? Like, oh. that would never happen. Maybe she's counting on adjustment protocol saving her her chip. Like, if all the non-believers are killed out, the only people who are left will, won't break her chip. Because her chip's okay. It's still in her, her head. She's Her body's dead, but she's not gone. Not with the way the parents did. Yeah, well, did who's going to do it? Russell's in space. Yeah, that's true. And he seems like the, you know, he doesn't want to come back down anytime he soon. Come, well, not for that, but I mean, whatever reason. He seems like he's the only one who could have done it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And anyone else who could have figured it out, like Raven or Abby, are also in space. Well, <laughs> so Gabriel didn't destroy the thing that wouldn't allow him to resurrect anyone else. So they may end up resurrecting Priya and Riker to save the day. I think that'd be an interesting thing for them to try and do because they did indicate that they could have destroyed whatever it was that allows them to do that resurrection process. And I think they didn't do that because they want to use that later on to actually do a little bit more resurrection. Just a little a personal theory. Just a little resurrection. <laughs> It'd be cool if that came true. I, I, I like it when I see these little details. And I think that one was, was planted in there. What else is there? False gods graffiti. Yeah. yeah, that was weird. They were doing a really bad job of cleaning that off the wall, by the way. <laughs> I was unimpressed. <laughs> yeah, they can they can make motorcycles, but they can't clean graffiti, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like, they, well, the thing that I noticed is they were on a wall that's like the side of like a shipping container, so mm-hmm. it's like rich, like this. Yeah. <laughs> and they were using like what looked like one of those paint yeah. things that was like a roller. And I'm like, how is that supposed to adequately clean a ridged wall anyway sorry it's, it's more medieval style it's um, fine they did they did the action well i like the whole like when everybody got the red sun toxin in them that was the violence i felt was really well choreographed and it felt like a almost like a zombie film once they they were getting chased into that container yeah that's one of the things that show does well is like the the combat in general I wonder if there's anything there, like, those with faith are zombies. 
<laughs> probably. I, if I be. had like more than two seconds right now, I could probably come up with something, but yeah. There's definitely more to the whole faith versus truth dynamic, and I want to spend some time thinking about it, maybe put my thoughts in, in my comment section below just to like, you know, follow up on it because this is just yeah. our media reactions without even being able to pause or rewind. So yep. yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I had on my notes. Is there anything that you think I might have left out? I don't think so. It's a little sad. I didn't really notice any like literature slash pop culture references this time, but it kind of makes sense because they're like trying to wrap everything up and tie it with a bow Yeah. by the end of the season. So They're packing in as much content as they can to set everything up. And I think they did a much better job with this um, what do you call it? Penultimate? Whatever's leading Penultimate. up. Penultimate. Yeah. This episode for this season was much better than the one from last season, which just felt really sloppy. Like, it was setting up everything for a really yeah, amazing episode. This one did not feel sloppy. I was very happy with this episode, and I'm super excited to see the finale next week. Me too. So, yeah. We'll wrap this one up here. As I said earlier, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, words. Yeah, definitely a sign to get going here. We'll see you around. Have a good one.